look like a typical high school couple, a cheerleader and her boyfriend, but police say they were involved in a criminal plot that resulted in a classmate's murder. And the gunfire was apparently over $25 worth of vaping supplies. Kenny Gallegos and Julie Serrano are two of four teenagers now charged in Arapahoe County. Serrano is 17 and he's charged as an adult. Jamie Leary joining us now has more on what led up to such a senseless crime. Jamie? We've learned a lot more about the crime, but we've also learned a lot about Lloyd Chavez. Lloyd was a talented rugby player. In fact, this is the park where you would most often find Lloyd practicing. Now, according to court documents, Lloyd often sold vaping products via Snapchat. But those we spoke to say that Lloyd was a great kid, and among those who knew Lloyd well, his rugby coach. And he hopes the community can work together to help fill the giant void left by, Lloyd's, uh, left by the loss of Lloyd. I can remember how tall he was. Dave Farmer can't recall exactly when Lloyd Chavez joined his rugby team. And he was skinny and spindly and sinewy. And I said, he'll never be a rugby player. And I was way wrong. He, he was a great rugby player. It wasn't just his technical skills that made him great. Lloyd wanted people to feel good. And when you were around Lloyd, you felt good. And he was the guy that made that happen. Like many who knew Lloyd, Dave can't believe his life was cut short, allegedly at the hands of another student. I think Lloyd was a great person, and I'd like to get his story out, and I'd like it, if possible, to serve as an inspiration for other people to be like Lloyd. According to court documents, Lloyd was shot while selling vaping products to classmates. Suspect Julie Serrano told police Lloyd frequently sold the products via Snapchat, and she planned to meet him at his house. She said she and her boyfriend, Kenny Gallegos, planned to rob him, but never kill him. Another team with them, Demary Mitchell, brought a gun just to scare him. When a fight broke out, Julie told police that's when Demaria shot Lloyd, leaving him to die in his front yard. Never thought it would happen to someone like Lloyd. It's hard for Dave to believe it was all over vaping. Lloyd out of the world, it's a big loss. I would just like other people to try and fill that gap just a little. Now, as far as the charges go for those suspects, it is possible that some of them could eventually be transferred back to juvenile court. We'll continue to follow those proceedings. There is a big memorial planned on Saturday for Lloyd here at Cook Park at 4 p.m. Live at Cook Park in Denver, Jamie Leary covering Colorado First. All right, Jamie.